Hi, I'm Chip Terry. Um, I grew up in the coast of Maine, um, grew up with a bunch of people who were in the fisheries industry. I moved to Boston, have been in the technology industry for the last 20 plus years. Um, the last company sold off to Tesco, the big British retailer. I uh, moved back to Maine, had a couple of friends who'd started oyster farms um, and sort of got sucked into the whole world because I love what this is doing for the communities up there. I love what this is doing for the environment. Um, and um, I think it's an amazing world uh, and I love eating seafood. Um, so started this company in about 2018. I called up a few friends that I'd worked with in the past who I knew were super smart um, and really talented in a lot of different ways. There's some great people we get to work with. Um, and so I have three co-founders, uh, Andy Kearney, who's our CTO, um, used to work with me at BuzzAgent. Kat Ganim, our head of product, also used to work at BuzzAgent, um, and then at a bunch of big uh, retail companies like Dollar General. Um, and Drew Condon, um, who's the head of UI for HubSpot. Um, so uh, yeah, we started this company nights and weekends, sort of figuring it out. Um, 2021, we launched our first real product. Um, and uh, you know, by the end of 2023, we have 358 paying clients um, in every coastal state in the US, um, except Mississippi and Hawaii. Um, I'd like to go to Hawaii and sign, find a new client there. Uh, every coastal province in Canada, as well as some in Australia. Um, and really what we do is we help uh, companies stay compliant with regulations and operational efficiencies. The uh, paperwork overhead for all the companies in the seafood industry is huge and just getting larger. Because for very good reasons, people wanna make sure that their food is safe. They wanna make sure that it's harvested sustainably. Um, they wanna make sure that illegal labor was not used to it. Um, and that means more regulatory overhead. And so that's really what we do. So, so today, you know, we started, here's our first product. I need to print a tag. It goes on a, a bag of oysters. I have a little uh, mobile printer and I print it out from my phone. Bluetooth, uh, you know, think of it as a parking ticket. So we started with that. Um, and, uh, you know, so people know us initially as they are the guys that print tags. But really what this tag is, is the database record. And this QR code right here links to a database record because at every step along the chain from harvest to consumption, there's probably five to eight steps along that chain. Um, everybody needs to have regulatory logs, HACCP logs, harvesting logs, receiving logs, shipping logs, wet storage logs, on and on. Once you digitize that chain though, you're opening up a huge opportunity for a lot of different things. Um, we just introduced recalls. Um, so now any chef, uh, who's got a bunch of oysters sitting on their counter, they can scan this QR code and say, is this product been recalled or not? Um, that's a super easy thing, but it makes a huge difference when last year, uh, something like eight people in Florida died from eating raw oysters. Um, so, uh, you know, but when you begin to digitize, what you can also do is improve the communications. And so we have a client up in Newfoundland, a big mussel harvester. They do thousand pound vats of mussels. And they're shipping it down to one of our clients in Philadelphia. As soon as they harvest those mussels, they put a tag on the side of it saying where it's going, what's in there. The guys down in Philadelphia now know two days ahead of time what's coming, what's in that vat, where it was harvested, all the regulatory information, but also all the marketing information. And so they can actually start selling this product before it even arrives. So, you know, from their perspective, it's all about inventory churn. You know, seafood doesn't get better with age. Um, so the faster you can get into your facility and out of your facility, the better off you are. Um, and so, you know, a lot of what we ended up doing is really operational improvements for this very convoluted seafood supply chain. York IE came highly recommended from a couple of their other investors. People love working with York IE and you don't always hear that about VCs. Um, so that was first step. But also in talking to them, they really understood the problem um, and what we were trying to do. And they bring this expertise in B2B software. Because at the end of the day, we're in the B2B software world. Um, and so being able to learn from their other portfolio companies by having their consultants on board, whether it's you know, the financial aspect, the go-to-market, et cetera, there's a huge value add that you don't get when somebody's just writing a check and running away.